this is the best auto GPT in your browser that I've found. And honestly, it blew me out of the water and it's amazing even when it's free. So I haven't even paid for, paid for it yet, which I'm definitely going to do um, just because the free version of this is honestly better than the, the paid version of Agent GPT in God mode. So um, I actually do have a video critiquing Agent GPT versus God mode, which um, are the most popular auto GPTs in the browser. Caveat is uh, if you actually like download uh, auto GPT, like from Git, GitHub and have it run on your, your computer and all that, um, that's going to the, be the best. Uh, you're going to get the best results off that. It's also going to be the best, the most expensive. Uh, so for the people that want to stick to running uh, and like auto, auto, autonomous agent in their browser, um, you're going to use one of these tools. And I just want to show you AI agent, I just found out about it a few days ago. And it's like, blew me out of the water. And I was like, wow, why is no one talking about this? So um, yeah, if you want to learn more about agent GPT and God mode, uh, just look at a previous video of mine. Um, now AI agent, I gave it the ob objective, um, develop a strategy to get my YouTube channel to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So I gave it something uh, similar goal to agent GPT uh, in God mode, I think. And um, it makes uh, the to do list puts it here. So user experience so far is better than God mode and agent GPT. Uh, then it adds the tasks. And then it actually goes through them step by step and you understand it. So uh, here result of so that was the first task. Right? So like, it does the task. And then this is the result. And so okay, it made the to do list. So then it uh, checks that off. And then in the process, it adds new tasks. And then it works through those. So this is the second task, conduct market research. And it it does that. And you have sources. This is nuts. The other ones don't. Um, huh, I thought I lost it for a second. Um, yeah, you have sources. The information is actually valuable. Um, and it just goes through them like it's actually so usable, which Honestly, I couldn't say that from agent GPT and God mode, like using them, user experience was just not good. And if you're curious to see exactly what that is, just watch that previous video I mentioned. Um, but yeah, it's it's so clear. So it goes through the task. And then as it does that, it adds new tasks. And as you can see, there's a ton of tasks here. On the free version, you only get five. Um, making the to do list doesn't count, I guess. But yeah, so you get five. And I guess the con is in the like, while you're while you're using it, as soon as it's done a task, you have to like click continue. Um, in this case, I can't because you've reached the limit, which is five. Um, but yeah, so I, I don't really see that as a big issue. It does a task and then it asks you, do you want to continue? And you're like, you just press Y or click continue. And it does it goes on uh, to the next task. And yeah, it's actually valuable information. So like this one conduct keyword research to identify relevant and high traffic search terms, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah. And if you want to learn more, obviously, it has the sources that you can uh, get into. And I guess if you want to get bonus points, you can use an AI tool to summarize that article. So you like get the URL, you put that URL into some AI tool, which maybe I'll make a video on in the future. Um, but also very easily Googleable. Um, so yeah, you put that URL into the um, tool, and then you get a summary of that source it's giving you. So this is awesome at like big picture, but not just big picture like chat GPT, because chat GPT can also do big picture. But um, it's actually browsing the internet and gives you more details than chat GPT would. Um, yeah, like look at this conduct a competitor analysis to identify gaps in the market. So top AI marketing tools. So 
I mean, it's not perfect because I'm not like a AI marketing like Jasper, or Copy AI, or Grammarly. I'm like a content creator and well, mainly website design agency, but I didn't mention that here. Um, but it gives you a great starting point. And honestly, like I could go like it would actually make sense to go through all of these tools, see what videos they're posting, like just look through the content that they're posting and seeing especially which ones, uh, which videos, which uh, topics are getting the most views. So I would have some really good, I'll get some really good ideas. And this is an amazing starting point. Um, and obviously, as soon as it's done a task, it adds like another six. So um, it's, it creates a lot of work for itself, but that's useful because the work it's doing is work that you don't really have to do. So this could honestly save you several hours at the beginning of, of some project um, or even the thing is that you can't really use this in the middle of a project because in the middle of a project, you've gained a lot of project context from everything that you've done so far. And you can't really like so far, I'm sure there's going to be an auto GPT later this year where you can upload everything you've done so far and it's going to learn from that and then you know, take that into consideration and then give you the proper next steps. Right now, you can just sort of give it the initial goal and then, you know, get a ton of ideas. Um, so yeah, this is more for the beginning of a project or essay or um, presentation or any something like that. It's not really good when you're, you know, right in the middle of it. But uh, yeah, at the beginning, I think it definitely can save you several hours. And although the five tasks is a bit limited on the free version, Still, I was happier with this uh, than I was with Agent GPT or God Mode. Like I actually did hook up my open AI um, API key and paid, I mean, I really only paid like a dollar, I think, um, for in total. Basically you pay because you're using chat GPT, like it's, it's connected to chat GPT. And so like they incur some costs and so they bring the costs on to you. Um, and but yeah, like, I paid. And this was better, in my opinion, than than what I paid for. And like, I'd be more than willing to like pay maybe $10. But it just wasn't at that point where I'm sure they're both being developed. And personally, I think agent GPT is a bit better than God mode. But um, yeah, at, at the point at this point, um, even when you pay, it's just not not really great. Usability also could be improved. So, so far, AI agent, um, best auto GPT in the browser out there. And yeah, let's look at the pricing. So, um, so this one, it's not super clear, but when you get the starter, which is 29 a month, early bird, see, it's, it's very new, I think. So yeah, I, I don't think a lot of people know about this tool yet, but I think you would get 30 tasks per agent per month. So with this one, this is an agent, YouTube GPT. So you would get 30 tasks uh, per month. Um, personally, I think this is the best deal because then this one 99 a month, you're only getting 50 tasks. And honestly, I don't think you need that many agents like an agent would be like for a project or essay or whatever, like no one's no one really even needs 10 agents per month. Uh, well, depends if this is like your full time job, if you're in some sort of a certain job or industry, then maybe you'd need that many. But for most people, um, probably they would only need a few agents, but it would be useful if they had more tasks per agent. Still, I think 30 is quite good, especially, you know, it's 29 a month. Um, so I think for a lot of people, if you're starting some big project, it's worth it to create and honestly, you can make agents that are more specific to just sort of have different agents working towards the same project. So if you think of like a company that you're starting, you have like the marketing department, you have the sales department, you have the fulfillment department. So you could have an agent for each one. Like you could say, okay, pretend you're the marketing uh, manager for X project, and then you give it the objective and then it goes through, uh, the tasks which are like marketing oriented. And then you do the same thing for like sales. So you get a ton of ideas and direction around sales. Same thing for like 
fulfillment of your service. So yeah, I, I think this is honestly, this makes sense, especially when you split up the agents to work towards one project. Cause then if you think about it, let's say you have five agents working towards that have split, like you split up a project into five key aspects. Then you have those five agents and then each of those agents will be able to do execute 30 tasks. So this is everything you get from just five tasks, all this content here, you're going to get 150 relevant tasks. So I think that's more than enough. Like that's worth $30 unless like if your time is worth more than $1 per hour, uh, it's worth it because I think honestly, something like that could save you like 30 hours. Um, and so, yeah. And you have five agents left over. And so you could like impress friends and family, like they could maybe uh, use use an agent for some project on their own. So yeah, I think I think this is a great deal. By the way, uh, I'm not being paid to say this. Uh, I have no clue where I even found this website. I just found it. I think it's some newsletter. And I used it because I honestly use every AI tool uh, I come across just to see like, okay, is this an average tool or is it like awesome? And I used it and I realized, wow, this is awesome. And it seems like no one else is really talking about it. So I thought I would share it with you guys. So yeah, um, let me know if you have any questions. I will answer every question in the comments. And um, yeah, I look forward to making a, another video like this very soon.